Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will find the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence. It is also known as arithmetic series. These are the formulas that we can use in finding the sum of the terms of arithmetic sequence. In this formula, S sub n is the sum of the first n terms. N is the number of terms. A sub 1 is the first term. A sub n is the n term or the last term. D is the common difference. Let us have an example. Let us find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on. In this example, 4, is the first term or a sub 1. Since the difference of any two consecutive terms is 3, the common difference is equal to 3. 20 is the number of terms. Let us use this formula in solving for the sum since we have values of n, a sub 1, and common difference. We will substitute 4 to a sub 1, 3 to d, 20 to n. After substitution, we have S sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2 times quantity 2 times 4 plus quantity 20 minus 1 times 3. Let us simplify. S sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 2 times 4 equals 8. 20 minus 1 is equal to 19 times 3. S sub 20 is equal to 10 times quantity 8 plus 19 times 3 is equal to 57. S sub 20 is equal to 10. Quantity 8 plus 57 is equal to 65. 10 times 65 is equal to 650. And that is the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on. Example number 2. The first term of the arithmetic sequence is 5 and the 11th term is 35. What is the sum of the first 11 terms? In this example, the first term is equal to 5. 11th term is equal to 35. N is equal to 11. Let us use this formula in solving for the sum since we have values of n, a sub 1, and a sub n. We will substitute 5 to a sub 1, 35 to a sub n, 11 to n. After substitution, we have s sub 11 equals 11 divided by 2 times quantity 5 plus 35. Let us simplify. s sub 11 equals 11 divided by 2 is equal to 5.5. 5. 5. 5 plus 35 is equal to 40. Let us multiply this. The answer is equal to 220. And that is the sum of the first 11 terms. Example number 3. Let us find the sum of multiples of 5 between 19 and 99. The first term is the first multiple of 5 between 19 and 99, and that is equal to 20. The second term is 25. The third term is 30. The highest multiple of 5 between 19 and 99 is equal to 95. We have here an arithmetic sequence 20, 25, 30, up to 95. The first term, or a sub 1, is equal to 20. The last term, or a sub n, is equal to 95. The common difference is equal to 5. n is unknown. Since we need the value of n to solve for the arithmetic series, let us solve for n. We will be using this formula in solving for n. This is the formula in finding the n term of the arithmetic sequence. We will substitute 20 to a sub 1. 95 to a sub n, 5 to d. After substitution, we have 95 
equals 20 plus quantity n minus 1 times 5. Let us simplify to solve for n. 95 equals 20 plus n minus 1 times 5 is equal to 5n minus 5. 95 is equal to 20 and negative 5 is equal to 15. 15 plus 5n. We need to add negative 15 to both sides of the equation to isolate 5n. 95 plus negative 15 is equal to 80. 15 plus negative 15 is equal to 0. 0 plus 5n is equal to 5n. To solve for n, we need to divide both sides by 5. 80 divided by 5 is equal to 16. 5n divided by 5 is equal to n. The value of n is equal to 16. After solving for n, let us find the sum. Let us use this formula and let us substitute all the given values. After substitution, we have s sub 16 is equal to 16 divided by 2 times quantity 20 plus 95. And let us simplify. S sub 16 equals 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. 20 plus 95 is equal to 115. 8 times 115 is equal to 920. And that is the sum of multiples of 5 between 19 and 99. Example number 4. Let us evaluate summation of 3i minus 1 where i goes from 5 to 16. This is an example of sigma notation or summation notation. This symbol is called sigma. And it means we need to find the sum 3i minus 1, where i goes from 5 to 16. Since i goes from 5 to 16, we can determine the terms of the series by substituting numbers 5 to 16 to i in 3i minus 1. If i is equal to 5, 3i minus 1 becomes 3 times 5 minus 1. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 15 minus 1 is equal to 14. 14 is the first term of the series. If i is equal to 6, 3i minus 1 becomes 3 times 6 minus 1. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 minus 1 is equal to 17. And that is the second term of the series. To find the last term of the series, let i is equal to 16. 3i minus 1 becomes 3 times 16 minus 1. 3 times 16 is equal to 48. 48 minus 1 is equal to 47. And 47 is the last term of the series. After solving for some of the terms of the series, we have 14 plus 17 all the way to the last term which is equal to 47. The first term is equal to 14. The last term or a sub n is equal to 47. Let us find the value of n. Since i goes from 5 to 16, there are a total of 12 terms. So the value of n is equal to 12. Let us now find the sum. Let us use this formula and let us substitute the given values. After substitution, we have s sub 12 equals 12 divided by 2 times quantity 14 plus 47. S sub 12 equals 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. 14 plus 47 is equal to 61. 6 times 61 is equal to 366. And that is the answer. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.